It is given that the shop sells oranges and lemons. The weights of the oranges are assumed to be normally distributed with mean 205 grams and standard deviation 5 grams. So let all be random variable weights of uh, oranges and it is distributed normally with parameters 205 it's mean and here must be a variance so since standard deviation is 5 we write 5 squared or 25 and uh, the weights of uh, the lemons are assumed to be normally distributed with the mean 105 grams and standard deviation 3, uh, 3 grams so let l be random variable weights of lemons and it is uh, distributed normally with parameters 105 and uh, 3 squared. And Nelia selects one orange and two lemons at random and independent of each other, calculates the probability that the weight of her orange exceeds the combined weights of her lemon. So we should consider the next event that orange is greater than lemon plus lemon weight or oh, actually it's mass weight it's a force it's not correct uh, to say to say uh, weight of, of, a, of a lemon is 105 grams because uh, mass is measured in grams not weight weight is measured in newtons actually so we should consider that uh, uh, weight of an orange is greater than lemon plus lemon. I write lemon plus lemon because there is a difference be be uh, between lemon plus lemon and two times lemon. And it will be useful to consider a new random variable x which is equal to orange minus lemon minus lemon. And uh, we need find the probability since we move uh, this to the left hence our x becomes greater than zero so we need to find the probability that that uh, x is greater than zero but to calculate uh, this probability we need to uh, find uh, mean and uh, standard deviation or variance of this new random variable x and uh, definitely this new uh, random variable x uh, will follow normal distribution and for mean or expected value of, of x we just do according to this formula and it's uh, orange minus lemon minus lemon so it will be mean uh, for orange 205 minus mean for lemon minus mean for lemon and uh, it's what it's uh, minus 5 grams and for variance for variance we know the next formula is variance a x plus b y is a squared variance of x plus b squared variance of y and notice that if you consider variance lemon plus lemon it will be like uh, just uh, x and y and uh, a and b are uh, equal to one so it will be variance of l plus variance of l or it will be just uh, two times uh, uh, nine or nine plus nine but if you consider two times lemon in general question it may be to compare weight of an orange uh, with two times uh, uh, weight of uh, lemon it will be like 2a is 2 and x is l and uh, this is 0 and you can see that it will be 4 variances l oh well and here you get what 9 plus 9 it's 18 and here you get 4 times 9 36 so there is a difference between l plus 1 uh, l plus l and 2 times l so so variance of x becomes variance of 
O and notice that uh, there will be always plus uh, for any combinations of all events uh, if we consider variance. Variance of O plus variance of L and plus variance of L. Hence, it becomes variance of O. It's what? It's 25 plus 9 plus 9 and it's 43. Hence, our X is distributed normally with parameters negative 5, it's mean, and uh, 43, it's variance. And we need just find probability that X is greater than 0. And we use a calculator. So we need distributions and normal CDF and we just calculate uh, probability as usual so lower lower it's uh, zero upper it's actually plus infinity so it's uh, for example 10,000 or 100,000 it doesn't matter and the mu is negative 5 and standard deviation notice that 43 is a variance so standard deviation is a square root square root of 43 and just enter and it's a required probability 0 0.223 to 3 significant figures. And that's all for this question.